Hey everyone, Sawmill Charlie. Well, in the last video I said I would probably be extracting honey pretty soon, around the 4th of July. It is the 25th of June. Uh, it has been continually raining on and off week after week for at least three weeks, and it's going to rain this coming Monday. So I have decided just to go ahead and start extracting honey. I wanted to kind of go over what I use and uh, the efficiency of it and how I uh, extract the bees out of the honey supers and what I use. So the method that I use is a fume board. A lot of folks use them. Uh, here's a brand new one that I got. It's felt in the top of the box and it's actually black. Uh, this is metal and the fume board measures the same size as the honey super so it doesn't slip over it like a telescoping cover just actually lays on top of the honey super and what you do is you use two different types of well there's actually more than two types of fume agent uh, the one that really smells the worst is honey robber it's, I call it butric acid. Not sure whether the acid part is actually correct. It really smells terribly. Uh, something that I've been using in the past is Fisher's Be Quick. Uh, pleasant smelling, kind of smells like almonds, and it does a pretty darn good job of removing the bees. Now, you're not going to get 100% of the bees out of your honey supers. Uh, you'll probably get between 90 to 95 percent. So what I do is, as I remove the super and turn it up, it up on its edge, and then I use a battery-operated leaf blower, blow the bees out towards the front of the hive so they can fly back in, and that gets the bees completely out of the honey supers. The next thing that I do to keep the bees out of those honey supers after removing it from the hives is I use two telescoping cover lids. The first lid is turned upside down. You're going to put your honey super in the box. That way bees cannot come up underneath the box and get inside to rob the honey out. Then I use a second telescoping kit of course to put on the top that way they can't get in the top and then I just once I put the first super in I keep stacking supers and of course putting the top lid back on as soon as I get it in place just make sure that when you do stack your supers that they are perfectly stacked evenly so there isn't any side cracks where maybe you didn't quite get the alignment of your boxes just so 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 I'm gonna go ahead and my plan is today is I have 10 honey hives. I'm gonna remove at least 10 boxes, at least one off of each hive. Uh, I usually remove all of them at one time, but because of uh, space constraints and time constraints, this way I can do it in three different batches and it'll be easier on me as the beekeeper. So let's go on over here to the first hive and remove a super. All right, everyone, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my extraction um, fumigate and I am going to spray it on the felt. Now what I do is I kind of spray around the edges and then I kind of make an X all the way across the center on both to each corner and do it like that. Now I'm gonna have two of these. I'm gonna put two of these fume boards, one on each hive. That way the uh, hive that is waiting to get the super taken off, well, it'll give it time enough for this agent to make the bees go down into the hive. It takes about um, two or three minutes per hive uh, depending on how much sun you have, what the whole idea of it is, is the heat from the sun 
makes the smell of the agent drive the bees down into the uh, honey hives. And if it's not quite as sunny, which doesn't make the uh, smelling agent uh, really potent, uh, then it might take a little bit longer. All right, everyone, let's get into this hive. I'm gonna take the lid off. Get into the top super here. Plenty of honey. Just to kind of give you an idea, let's uh, pull the frame up, see how they're got it all capped, hopefully. And there's a nice frame of honey. It's about 95% capped on both sides. And that is close enough for me as far as harvesting goes. There's another one here, it looks really nice. There's a, a beautiful frame of honey, 100% capped on both sides, a little bit off the bottom down there, but only a few cells. All right, here we go. The fumic board goes on. It sits right on the edge of the hive, the boxes actually, the supers. And we will wait two or three minutes while it's doing its job. And in the meantime, I will put a fume board on my second hive. So by the time we get this super off, the bees will remove from my second hive that I'm going to take a super off. Well, it's been about two minutes or so. Let's see what we have in the hive. And the bees is pretty darn clear. So let's take and pry this super up off of there. And it's pretty doggone heavy. So there is a few bees, there might be a dozen bees or more in there at best. So uh, let's get our blow her out and blow the final amount of bees out of the box. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put it on our tailgate of the pickup truck and also inside the upside down tele cover. All right, let's grab this honey super and put it in the back of the pickup truck inside the telescoping lid, just like that. Put my top lid on, and there we have it. It's free of bees, it will stay free of bees, and then we'll be able to take it inside the house where the extractor is and extract this honey super. The main thing about this is, if you leave this open, your bees from this hive and other hives We'll find out about the honey there and they will have a robbing frenzy started and that's definitely not what you want done. All right, we're here at the second hive. Let's check the bees up in the super and they are pretty much completely free of bees. I'm gonna put that lid back on. I'm gonna go over here, get my honey stack ready. To put this next super on, let's go ahead and take this off and take off the super. Ah. 
And there it is. And that super is ready to be put on the stack. And my lid goes back on and my sides are perfectly aligned so the bees cannot get in the sides of the supers. So we are in good shape for the next pull. Let's close this hive back up. Until next week when we pull the rest of the honey off. All right, we're gonna go on to the next here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the lids off of both hives and put the different fume boards on each hive. And all, they've got this glued down pretty good. A lot of bees up here. I'll just go ahead and Put the fume board on. Go here to the next one. Remove the lid. Put the fume board and we'll wait for a few minutes and take two more supers off. All right, let's check out this hive. Looks like the bees are pretty much out of the top. We'll go ahead and take this top super off. It is mighty heavy. And to be quite honest with you, there isn't a bee in there anywhere that I can see. So this stuff is really doing a great job. Let's take the lid off of the box here. Carry this around to the truck and put it on our stack. Make sure our boxes are aligned really good. And there is another successful harvest of honey. Put the lid back on that. Let's go over here and check this fume board. Another fume board, it's done its good job. be a bee or two in there nothing really major Put our lid back on, keep everybody out, and we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, to the rest of these highs and we'll come back to you as soon as I get everything done. Well, everyone, I've been through all 10 of my honey hives. I actually harvested 12 honey supers this first time around, and then I will come back for a second harvest and harvest an additional 12 honey supers. 
I did get to go into two of my honey hives and get into the supers that were just above the queen excluders. And as I suspected, uh, due to all the rain that we had in our main honey flow, that those supers were only half full. So I think that my honey crop this year, I'm going to estimate between seven and 800 pounds. So until next time, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share my videos with your friends, and have fun with your bees.